Hopefully this works. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on the YouTube videos lately about Immersed and how it works. Immersed is an app that you run on the headset that connects to a client that runs on the computer. And in the Immersed app, when you get it on your computer, it has the options. Let me see if I can bring it up here. It has the, the options for your virtual displays. You can add virtual displays up to three, uh, or you can purchase a two additional for $20, which there's other apps out there for generating virtual monitors, and you can set the landscape. I use these in, in uh, vertical mode because I, I like to be able to see the, all the code. Uh, more program stuff, you can switch into virtual reality just by a press button here. Bam, I'm in virtual reality. Oops, I moved my monitor. So the other thing you don't know is how often you close your fingers and make a pinching gesture. So uh, when every time I'm programming, it's a lot easier to jump in here and be able to get a wider view of what's going on. Because I only have one monitor normally, so being able to be running a script and while I got code open, I also couldn't be monitoring my downloads, Discord, and then, you know, surfing the internet. This is the, the client that where you would get it. You would get your desktop agent for whatever. And then uh, you set up what you had. These are called portals here. So I'll go into my menu. My keyboard portal is number one. So if I gets rid of the portal. Mouse is two. I also have my phone. If I turn it on. It's right here. as a screen, a giant screen that I can, you know, tuck it underneath my thing when I need it. Uh, this would be great for day trading. It does a lot of the stuff that the Apple Vision Pro can do. You can snap monitors off and move them around, make them bigger. If I just wanted a big monitor here, or if I say I want to be a... Uh, bring it down. Bring it down, son. I can bring it in close or snap it to the, the th this. Or if I want to have my, my code over here, I can just have a page of code that I can be referencing. I could have this be in like stocks I'm trading. There's there's a ton of options that you have. And there's also inside the menu, you got whiteboards you can set up for uh, if you have multiple multiple people. So it's why I need to, to to surround my whiteboard. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, you can do a virtual webcam. You can actually bring people into your space and and do shared computing where they can see your avatar. They can, you know, join in and help 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 whatever project you're working on. It's a pretty, pretty cool thing. And you have all these different places that you can purchase with. And you earn time. So I got 757 credits. That's just, I haven't paid for anything. That's just inside the program. You earn credits, and then the more credits you have, you can use it to buy different, different worlds. You know, I want to do this, and it's gonna. Do nothing apparently. Okay, well. Oh, nope. There we go. Now I'm in orbit above the planet Earth. Uh, I can. Let's see here. Let's play this out. The classic cafe. No, I don't have. I don't want to purchase it. I did have some. I don't know where they're at. Are you go over here. It's just the Orbitarium app on Chalet. So now I'm uh, sitting in the Chalet. I can change seats. There's an option here for changing seats where I can select where I want to sit. Go back into the menu. There's a conference room that you can do virtual conferencing. I can hide my screens, hide my uh, portals.
and now I'm giving a I'm giving us I'm on a podium I'm giving you know conferences in the metaverse I can jump around and change seats if I'm not the one giving the speech I can be sitting here watching the dude giving the speech I can change seats to the oops I went back out of virtual reality there we go Uh, to be, this is where I would be at the head of the table, of course. We've got a beautiful view outside of is this like Dallas, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, trying to think if there was any other questions that I didn't answer. Uh, you can be playing music, which I'm not going to do because of copyright. But it's a it's a very powerful tool, and it's all very usable. Bring me my code, put it back where it belongs. And you can uh, change the, the bend of the monitors, how much I curve. If you want more curve, if you want it perfectly flat, if you want them bigger. When you change the middle monitor, all the side ones change too. So you can have a giant, I don't know, giant one, or you can have it curved. And our flat monitors that just haven't curved in like that. So these the the monitors stay flat, but the it's like they're on hinges. Or you can actually change to where the curve the monitors actually have like a a bend to them and you can increase the bend. How curved they are. Oh, it's right here. It is a little finicky. There we go. Increase. All right. And the more you use it, the better you get, because you don't realize how often you accidentally pinch, and it's really annoying. Anyway, so these are a bunch of random use cases that I thought would be uh, be good. You let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you. Oops, I didn't stop it. Menu.